All right, everybody, how's it going? It is Friday, February 25th, 2022. And of course, we're in the NFL offseason at this point, just kind of waiting for things to happen, waiting for news to come out. You know, we're waiting for a free agency to kick off in like a week or two. Um, but for right now, there's other small news that's going to happen, um, especially in like the way that the games are going to be called going forward. Uh, let me just uh, close that, pop that. And uh, yeah, so Troy Aikman, uh, we all kind of knew that he was leaving Fox or that his deal with Fox was uh, coming to expire. And there was uh, major rumors that he was going to end up at Amazon, uh, at CBS, NBC, at one of the new places, because there are a lot of openings. There's a lot of random spots that are just kind of, you know, with Al Michaels leaving. Um, I, wh which one did he leave? Was it NBC Sunday night or CBS? Uh, NBC, NBC. So Al Michaels is, you know, no one knows where that's going to wind up. Um, basically, I think the only people in place are like Joe Buck at Fox, uh, Collinsworth at NBC and Romo at CBS and everybody else could be moved around. Even some of those guys could be moved around. Brady could be thrown into the mix if he feels like getting into the uh, commentating game. Uh, that's Tom Brady, of course. Um, and, uh, Drew Brees is expected to be one of the next major guys up. I think Tariko's going to, um, Sunday night football with, uh, with Collinsworth. So that, I mean, there's that duo kind of set, but. We go, we, we're going to talk about, of course, Aikman here, who uh, could be actually, like, of all things, um, ESPN, despite already having the Manning cast, which they I think they're going to slowly go to. I don't even really understand why they're trying to keep Monday Night Football. They should have probably just let someone else get it. Because, uh, I mean, the Manning cast is going to be their move. I think that's, like, better than Monday Night Football. It's usually a better show. It's a better way to, like, take in football. Um, but um, for, for, all intents, uh, uh, for all intents and purposes... This isn't a bad deal if Monday Night Football wants to still be competitive on the weeks that they don't really have the um, that they don't have the Manning cast. They're, they're going to be able to uh, rely on Aikman and whoever winds up being his partner. Uh, this is really good for ESPN because now they could pretty much as much as people may not like Troy Aikman or what, whatever they may think of him. He's he's pretty good with uh, the lead analyzing. He's the lead analyst role when he's in the uh, broadcast booth. Someone else does color commentary. So. I think it's a good move. It's it's a lot better than a lot of the guys they have that could do that role. So he's instantly their best guy and instantly elevates to um, the the uh, ESPN broadcast to at least at least half of whatever the hell the Fox could do. Now, if he could get Joe Buck, if he could bring in like an Al Michaels, uh, that would be a super team. Like th that would be that would put Monday Night Football as one of the elite kind of cast, and it would seem right to somehow get Al Michaels back over at ESPN. Uh, kind of where he belongs, where everything began for him on Monday Night Football. Uh, that that would that would work pretty nicely. That would be quite the nice little duo, and it would give Monday Night Football sort of like this uh, really good feel to it again. Like, oh, okay, this is Monday Night Football. It's not supposed to be some randoms at ESPN. These should be some pretty prominent voices from uh, broadcasting. These should be uh, a Troy Aikman type and an Al Michaels type. Like that would be. Uh, that would be appropriate. I mean, again, some people may not like Troy Aikman, but he is one of the better uh, uh, commentators out right now. Uh, Aikman did sign a gigantic deal. I think it's the record setting deal. Um, it's reportedly this is all reported and pretty much they're just finalizing deals, dotting T's and or dotting I's and crossing T's rather. Um, Troy Aikman's deal with ESPN is reportedly worth five is for five years and could uh, top Tony Romo 17 and a half per year. They're expecting it to be like five years at 90 million, I think is what I've um, been reading. So anything is better than uh, Tony Romo's ADD scattershot analysis. Yeah, that's probably what it is. You know, I guess the CBS also has Jim Nance and Tony, so that, that's good. But, uh, you know, um, but yeah, this, this is really good for ESPN potentially, especially if they can get like an Al Michaels in there. That would kind of make this a better broadcast than it has been in quite, quite some time, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I don't know. What do, what do you think of this? Uh, what do you think of this move? Was this a good hire by ESPN? Was it kind of nonsensical considering the fact that like they already have the Manning cast? What are they trying to compete against themselves? Like that, that is probably the, the weirdest move of this, but also two kind of different programs. It's uh, ESPN two Manning cast for main ESPN of Monday night football for now. Anyway, um, I guess, I guess there's that, uh, I, I don't know. I think it was a good move. I mean, I could, you, I could see where you'd be like, Oh, this was kind of a risky move or a weird one to like sign somebody that could make it. So people don't want to watch one of your products. Like, 
could the Manning cast make it so nobody wants to watch your expensive hire of Troy Aikman, or could Troy Aikman and Al Michaels take away from your expensive signing of the Manning cast? Kind of like a weird thing, but it's good to be in a situation where all the views will still be hopefully going to ESPN in some way, just more of them in some direction. I think that's the overall goal. Uh, whether it be split up to ESPN or ESPN2 in the Manning cast, at least it's all eyes on ESPN, I guess. And uh, getting in, uh, getting Troy Aikman and Al Michaels, I guess, is pretty, you know, that keeps eyes on and it keeps people watching. At least people won't have to mute the game while they're watching on ESPN any longer if they can stomach Troy Aikman and uh, probably Al Michaels. So let me know what you think down below. I think this is a good move by ESPN. It's a good way to keep their brand a little bit alive and competitive. Um, it's a good way to keep Amazon kind of. Now that kind of makes you wonder what's Amazon going to do. Let me know what you think they're going to do. Um, does does Fox get kind of what is Fox going to do for the replacement? What is uh what is and what is what are all these companies going to do? What's NBC like? You know, it, it's quite interesting to see how this one move could make a bunch of dominoes start to fall in some kind of direction. Because uh, I mean, we don't know what Collinsworth. It could be Tariko Brady. Drew Brees. We don't know what Fox is going to look like. It could be Brady. Drew Brees could be traded over that way. Uh, there, there's quite a, there's, you know, Fox is in quite a dilemma. So is uh, Amazon, I would imagine. Uh, what do you think they do? Again, let me know all your thoughts down below. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I can. Leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. I appreciate all that YouTube stuff. Um, helps us grow and all that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. ESPN signs uh, Troy Aikman to a five-year, like $90 million deal to be their lead commentator. I'm pretty sure that's going to come out in a couple of days with like official and officialities. But this is pretty much like the for sure thing. He's going to ESPN. It's just what else happens and what kind of shockwave is that going to cause is the fun thing to speculate on um, going forward. So I think that's a big move. Uh, what do you think? Uh, thanks so much for listening. Have a good day, night, morning, uh, uh, later night. Whenever you listen to this, I guess, I don't know, midday, mid morning, midnight, uh, I don't know. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Go Lions, go Tigers, and go Patriots. And, uh, yeah, the NFL offseason. This is, like, news for, I guess, you know. <laughs>